Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. If you just so happen to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. It is Sunday and I am in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and we are basically doing some errands for the move that's coming up that I've announced to all of you. This is so incredibly annoying, but... <laughs> It's like the most annoying sentence I've ever said in my life. But we're here because last weekend we went to Pottery Barn and they packed us dip bowls when we asked for berry bowls. So we have to correct that immediately. <laughs> we picked out these really, really cute bowls and I'm gonna show them to you later. We actually have a bunch of stuff coming in this week. So I figured I could like show you some little sneak peeks at what we have planned for the future house. We are bringing literally nothing with us because it's either really, really cheap furniture or furniture that we've been using for a really long time and just like don't want to move with us. And also there's just not a lot of it like at all. We're selling most of it or just giving it away. Um, I'm starting early so that I can do a lot of like selling or giving away for free on Facebook because obviously I want to produce like as little garbage as possible. I realize like when I move, I create so much trash because I get overwhelmed and I just want to throw it away and like be done with it. I'm starting like very early now and I've already started selling things, giving stuff away. When we do move, we will have nothing. So it gives us an opportunity to start like super fresh and we've been like being really, really careful with everything that we're picking out and some of the items are definitely more expensive than we're used to but we kind of are trying to go into it with the mentality of like we'll spend the money now and get better quality stuff so that we can hold on to it for a long time there was some stuff that we knew we would need like immediately moving in stuff like plates uh utensils pots pans that kind of thing so we ordered those ahead of time today i can definitely show you some of the things that we have picked out and i'll show you the bowls when jonah comes back i didn't want to go in <laughs> that's what's going on for right now it's sunday i don't know if i said that um and i'll check in with you when jonah comes back with the correct bowls the berry bowls not the dip bowls <laughs> look who's back hi everybody was it in there it was it was incredible <laughs> can i show them the bowls sure okay okay ready and why is it focusing on you and not me I know who's i'm the star Ooh. look at this it's a berry bowl it's a berry no dip bowls in this house. Mm -hmm. Who's using a dip bowl? I don't know. Just put your dip on the plate. Just put your dip on the plate. A berry bowl. Now we're talking. There's stone. Okay. There's stone. Okay, so now we're gonna head home, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get gas. Okay, we're gonna go home and guess what's coming today. You don't know either. Hmm. My plants. I have a plant order coming oh, in today. The, the one yeah. that stuck in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you're gonna get the whole deal with that. I think you're actually gonna watch that video before this video. So I'm excited to get home and see my plants. I'll check in with you then. Okay, just kidding. We went to Wawa and I just wanted to give you a snack update. First we got they have smoothies now. They're new, right? What'd you get? A strawberry banana mango. It doesn't taste weird, like. On a scale of one to 10. Okay. Well, I have to th pick my number first. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, Seven. six. Okay. We got water, which is shocking for me. And then we got one of the most controversial snacks of all time. And I want you to talk to me about it in the comment section below. Like, you know, boost that engagement and tell me your feelings about the snack. Are they controversial? Yeah. Really? I feel like some people think they're absolutely disgusting. Well, they are disgusting, but like... But like, they're but good. Like they're good. Okay, ready? Slim Jim. Slim Jims. This is a Slim Jim household. Mm -hmm. You're privileged if you don't like Slim Jims. I agree. Unless you're a vegetarian. You don't like me, but you like Slim Jims. God, it's so good. <laughs> it is good, yeah. I don't care what anybody says. It's like... Mm. Freaky, but... <laughs> you're not you're not doing the hand thing with the Slim Jim, right? 
snack call. <laughs> okay, now that I've traumatized you, now we're going home. Look what came. So we just brought in our dining table. That's what this giant box is. And then Amazon came, so we're gonna open it up. This corner has just become like where we keep all of our stuff that we're moving. This is hard to do one-handed, nobody make fun of me. Ta-da! Okay, we have our modem that Jonah picked. Super exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> Our air mattress because we ordered a pullout couch for the living room, but that's not coming until literally September. So this is for our lovely guests when they come to visit. <laughs> we have our OXO steel piece set, which is awesome. I'm actually really, really excited about this. And then what's this last thing? Oh, and then we got a vacuum, which I'm not gonna open. We're trying not to open the individual boxes because we're just going to move it like that. This is our new vacuum. John is a huge fan of the vacuum. Very excited about it. <laughs> we decided to open it because uh, things like this happen oh. in our house now. So what's up? Oh, fancy. You want to give it a little, you want to give it a little like pow pow? <laughs> Okay, now show us the big. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty amazing stuff. Black and Decker. Pivot <laughs> lithium 20 volt. <laughs> oh my God, I am so out of breath. Look what finally came. It's my plants and I have to film an unboxing for it. So you, I think that video, yeah, that video will be out already. But I am so excited. I just ran downstairs the minute I got it because it definitely came late. I wasn't planning on filming this today, so I like, I'm not gonna get cute, I guess, because I just wanna get right into the box. But yeah, I thought it was gonna come like tomorrow or Tuesday, but it's here. So I'm gonna go ahead and film that video. And believe it or not, I still have more packages coming today. I'm sorry, I promise the next, the rest of the week won't be as package heavy, but today I'm getting a bunch of stuff that I was really excited to get. So yeah, I'm gonna film that video real quick. So as many of you know, the plants were completely dead. I didn't wash my hands yet, so I don't wanna like touch my mouth with them, but that's a bummer. I don't know, I'm trying to use it as like a learning moment, but that sucks. Like literally this whole box I have to throw away. I'm so sad. <laughs> um, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Plot twist. None of my packages came yesterday and then they didn't come today. Me and Jonah walked to a new park. We usually go to one park, but we decided to like switch it up and go to a different park. This park is so much nicer than the park we usually go to. Um, there's way more dogs. There is shade and like actual tables. So I would say it's like a better park. Brought my little book, Botany for Gardeners. And I've been reading this because I kind of want to better understand. I feel like I have a good grasp of taking care of houseplants in the home and kind of just like feeling it out. But I want a little bit more of like foundational botany knowledge that I didn't want to overwhelm myself. So I found the perfect book. This is literally botany for gardeners and it just breaks down like the basics, like the foundation of plants and botany so that it's easy to understand and you only know what's relevant to like taking care of houseplants and gardens. One thing that I really like about this is that they give me, hold on I'll show you, it's full of like diagrams of the different kinds of leaf shapes and growth patterns and stuff so I'm finding that helpful because I think I can better 
talk about plants like not in a super academic not understandable way to you but I can like you know spice up my vocabulary a little bit when talking about plants which I think is gonna be fun I have to actually remember when I'm reading which is a problem for me definitely recommend it if you're someone that wants to learn more of the science behind plants but you know you don't really have any foundation in botany like it's my nightmare no. um anyway i'm gonna read about adaptation now and yeah this is gonna be my afternoon update time so it's raining kind of heavily i'm sure you can hear some of it and i thought to myself you know what let's do some plant care like just a little bit you know let's chip away at it it'll be super cozy and nice and then this happened <laughs> this tritiscontia was up here on this top shelf you can see the saucer <laughs> of where she once was and I reached for the watering can, this watering can, and I literally knocked it over and it fell down into the most inconvenient spot ever. I'm slightly thankful that like none of the, the worst thing that happened to any of the rest of the plants was this Peperomia lost a flower, but like it's here, the whole plant is back there, it got on, oh look, there she is. The terracotta is broken. It's on my outlet, It's it fell into the books, it's in this crevice. Um, so that's great, loving this. It was also one of those plants that I was thinking about selling for the move, I'm not really into her anymore. So when she started falling, I wasn't <laughs> super proactive, I'll be honest, I was kind of like, Oh no! But now I have a huge mess that, to be honest with you, because I'm moving, I just am like, do I just leave it for like 25 days? But I know I need to clean it. I know I need to clean it. But then, as if that wasn't enough, I decided to just ignore it for now. For now. And fill up my watering can in the bathroom. I heard the most ferocious buzz ever and there is the fattest bumblebee I've ever seen in my life bobbing around in the tub. And like, I'm fine with bugs. I am. I I can kill the house centipedes. I can, I woke up to a spotted lantern fly, spotted lantern fly in my bed this morning. Like, it's fine. I'm fine with bugs. But for some reason, wasps or bees or even bumblebees, I know that they're fine or whatever. Um, I hate them and they freak me out <laughs> so much. So now I can't go into the bathroom. I closed the door and I ran in here and started filming. So um, I think it's a wrap on the plant care for today. I thought that I could be productive and proactive with the blank hair. No, not at all. I'm just using whatever water I have left in the can and I'm just not going to the bathroom for the rest of the day. So that's that's where I'm at. <laughs> Look what finally came. It's the package I've been waiting for for a few days. Finally here. Let me crack this baby open. We can get a package that's not rotting. <laughs> Oh, also, I got this new tripod that, you know, probably not a lot of people care about, but it's amazing and was like surprisingly affordable for a tripod. So if anybody's curious, I will be adding it to my Amazon storefront. This is a total side note. Oh, she's cute. I got a little um, Polaroid photo album because I have a lot of loose Polaroids. They're either on my wall or in a drawer somewhere. 
And when we move, I'm probably not gonna be hanging them on the wall in the same way that I'm doing now. And I didn't want all of the Polaroids to get lost in damage while I'm moving. So I figured now's the time to start getting little photo albums for the pictures that I do have. It just feels like the adult thing to do. I have another one coming. This one's a Polaroid one. And then I have a regular photo album coming for like the few regular photos that I have, like the, what are they? Four by six or something. But I got this one from Urban Outfitters. This is like the color scheme that we kind of have going on. I'm usually not huge into cow print, but I actually really like this. So I did get one and I figured we can go through some of my Polaroids together while I put them in there and I can show you some cute ones. These are not even all of them, so I have to figure that out. Let me like lower this a, a bit. Can I do that? I think in the front, I wanna put a picture of me and Jonah. This, we just started dating here. Look at this. Oh my God. It looks kind of cute. Unless something looks like aesthetically better, I'll leave that there <laughs> for now. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, this, my high school plants. I was content creating little plant stuff before I knew. I think that this was from, this is from college for sure. I thought that this was super cool of me. <laughs> oh my God, this just fell out. This is my Drexel student ID. Look at me. This is a headshot I used to use for like ballet auditions. That's so funny. I think I'm gonna try to go semi-chronological. So I'm trying to pick out the high school stuff first. Stop, wait. This ticket goes to this memory. How cute is that? <laughs> Aw, little college cat. <laughs> That was freshman year of college. I feel like you guys are like a date and I'm bringing you over and showing little parts of my life to you. This is me and my sister. At this point, I transferred to Philly, I think. Yeah, this is my first year in Philly, I wanna say. I like this little like group of four from a family vacation. I think that kind of came out cute. Look at cute little me and Jonah, 2018. How, how cute. <laughs> My 21st birthday, ow, ow. This is from June. It's before, uh, like, we were like, no haircuts. <laughs> it's too dangerous. <laughs> Look how sweet, oh, my little babies. Adorable. I love that I have little Polaroids of Meek. They make me so happy. Boom, a little Meek suction. Okay, so there we go, she's filled up. I went to, I, have a, I only have a little bit of space left. Yeah, I only have like a few pages at the end. So, well, I'm, I'm out of film too. I have a nice little book of memories now and this will sit on my little shelf. Hopefully this didn't bore you, but I had fun. Hey. Hey. So it's Friday, Saturday. <laughs> Some time has gone by since I last checked in with you, but my best friend Alana is here and we're gonna go do stuff this weekend. So I'm just gonna wrap up the vlog. Just wrap it up. <laughs> That's gonna be it. If you are not subscribed already and you wanna subscribe and Subscribe. <laughs> And you want to see more Blanty content from me, please feel free to do so. Please feel free to like this video, comment down below, check out my merch, follow me on Instagram, follow Alana on Instagram, baby poet. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.